Hello everyone, Luke Force Smith here. It is the 31st of December, final day of the year. Um, this is going to be a review of this year, of whatever the hell I can actually remember of it. Um, I'm just going to do the um, big things, so like, this is going to be like the um, video wise review, not not the actual like um, what's been happening in, in the realm, because I want to keep it light hearted at least, because everyone knows what a shit, shit year this has been for everybody um, so video wise has been pretty good this year like I've been on um, how many two two trips away and uh, a few like vlogs not apart from like the obvious vlogs where I sit down and and talk from most of the time um, but I only give my um low down on the um, g going out vlogs and to be fair I can't really remember if I actually went out and about to to do vlogs apart from like I'm um, going out for like a few days um, on like holiday so I'll talk about the um, the L L L May one I don't think I went anywhere before May I can't even remember that but in May I went to Isle of Wight. I did I did things like um went round and bent the art the um the needles, uh, Black Gang Klein, um Shanklin. Got a few good vlogs out of it. Even though like um it rained um on some of the days, which mm, a bit shitty. But what are you gonna do? I still pushed through it, and I actually um got got a few good good um vlogs out of it. Um. And yeah, I think that was the best one, like the best um, little breakaway I had because I do like the Isle of Wight. The second <coughs> and last time that I went away was in September. And was it September? October? No, I think it was September, I believe. And that was to um, Barnstable, which I'm not going to lie, the actual. Barnstaple area is a little bit shit. It's run down. It's got it's a bit riff raffy. I didn't really enjoy the area. Um, the Exmoor Zoo was pretty good. I, I quite enjoyed that. Not the best zoo that I've been been in because the um, Exmoor Zoo is more of a like a a trail zoo. Like it's like a almost a set path going around these different exhibits. Um, could have done with a bit more work to it because it was like more like enclosed <coughs> but he had some like in interesting views some interesting animals so yeah that's, that's, that's pretty cool i think it cost me like eight pound per person as well so it was more more of like a cheaper zoo so when you go go to it don't expect it to be like oh london zoo or rips and or stuff like that it's more of like a close-knit like all together zoo sort of thing However, the main reason why I went into um, a Barnstable is to go into um, Elfricum to visit Watermouth Castle, which I wanted to go to ever since I saw the vlog on um, on um, Theme Park World Rides channel. Which, unfortunately, the weather kind of let it down a bit because it was raining all day um, that day I went. But, like I said, push for it and you actually enjoy it. Some, well, all of the rides apart from um, two. Or three, you know, some of the kiddie, well, most of the kiddie rides was open, but I think the one that was closed was the um, was the bomb sled ride, and I think the rapids, like the river ride there, which if it was open, we wouldn't have gone on it anyway because it was raining and didn't want to get our passes wet. To be fair, didn't want to get laid up, but um, that was pretty good. I quite quite enjoyed what Watermouth Castle it had a really nice interior to it. Going around the castle, and the dungeons and all that. Um, interesting animatronic figures, and like going outside, it was like it was basically a um, a bit like Black Gang Shine, but on a bit of a smaller version. And you basically it's on there like an incline going up. So you're basically going up all all, all the way. It's like a um, sort of um it's got like bits that you can go around but it's more or less a straight shot up and then come back down again it wasn't like a f like a more a um black gang kind thing where it was like more expansive all over the place this is more like 
um, just in one cer cer certain area. It's, po it's probably because of where it was located. It's, it was the land it was in, so it couldn't really help it. But I quite enjoyed that. And the um, the fountain show was actually quite nice. So we, we really enjoyed the fountain show. <coughs> if you go onto my channel, you can find these vlogs. Just look up Black Gang Shine and um, Watermouth Castle, things like that. And I've got like a POV of the of the one ride that we went on that we get to thought, oh, let's, let's go on this, at least we get a ride in. Um, but yeah, it, it was quite good. Now I'm actually trying to remember if I've been anywhere else because I can't remember if I have or not. I don't think I had any um, any days out. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, London Comic Con I returned to. After two years, I um gone back to... No, three years, yeah, three years I went back to London Comic Con and it was actually quite good. A not, not, not nice place to, to return to. Um, the prices, <coughs> if you go into the World Weekend, it's a bit steep, but I only went for a Sunday, which I normally do anyway. So... Yeah, it was actually um, pretty good. Now, to be fair, I yeah, <coughs> I I did go to um, and I just remembered it in the in the summer. I went to St Albans Comic Con, which is a smaller co convention that's at my local um, at, at my local area. <coughs> so um, that was pretty good. I didn't do a vlog of it. I think I did a review on it though. I'll believe I did um, I, I can't remember if I did or not also I did um Tully's the Howl as the um, as my local haunt haunted attraction with like scare mazes and that that got a lot better um it had a few more um yeah I think it had like an extra um haunt on it an extra scare maze yeah it did uh, which is a new one and it had the circus of horrors which was like a 10 15 minute show in a, in a circus tent so that was actually quite refreshing to go back and, and, and like see the, see the new stuff they got and they expanded it a bit they opened up the gate so you can go to this new maze and this new circus tent so there's a bit more to look at and like more places to eat more like there's an extra bar there and there's like more live entertainment and like extra um, Roman actors, so that that was pretty cool. Quite quite like that. Um, what else did I do? To be fair, I don't I don't think I any, had any um, days out other than them um, Comic Con things and that scare maze attraction. I cannot remember if I have any. I really should write this down. I really should, should have a diary where I like after I go to a place, I write the date and the name down of it and some notes. So when I do my next yearly review, I remember what I did. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, the main things that I did this year was go, going away, the Isle of Wight and down to um, Devon um, for um, Barnstable and um, some of them areas. <clears throat> now, um, next times I'm going to be going out, I'm going to be explaining it in my 2023 update video you're gonna get a January 2023 update video um, which I plan to release on Monday uh, but in the 2023 video um, update video which I kind of want to do it in the middle of January sort of um, I will be going into detail on my plans for next year or for, for the year of 2023 which I have in my head a lot of things that I want to do there's been a lot of things that I missed out on due to the pandemic and not having enough funding now everything everything's stable and I've got a good good um cash flow at the minute I can afford to do these things so I'm gonna write down what 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 my plans are for next for next year and in the um, update video for next year, that will come out in the middle of January next month, I will be um, um, an announcing them. Some will be days out, some will be trips away. Um, so, and um, I'll give a little hint. Some of it is not going to be in England. Yeah, 
I'm breaking away from the claims of England at the minute, <laughs> or, or I want to anyway. It's like, come on, I want to explore. Um, but yeah, that's gonna, that's going to be my thoughts on um, this year. Um, yeah, I did do some um, some let's plays. Like a did, like a recent let's play I did was Resident Evil 4 HD mod. That was actually quite good. I quite enjoyed that. Um, and there was like a few like mini projects that I did as well, like Mario Rum hacks. Um, like Super Mario Infinity 2 I, I did that early one in the year so yeah um, I like to keep myself occupied as well as the reviews that I do the unboxings that I do when, whenever I get things to unbox which by the way I've got a stack of things that I want to have a look at on, on video and do unboxings of um, so they will start next week in the new year um, so I am going to leave it here I do hope that you have a good new year and a good start to um, 2023 um, I'm gonna try and um, enjoy myself I'm still getting it over my cold as you can see but to be fair I am doing a lot better at the minute like I've done this and not coughed once like that's an accomplishment so I, when I talk when I have a cold it dries out and I had hadn't had a drink um, since this video started so my throat is well lubricated and moist <laughs> um, so um, I'm going to leave it here I like I said hope you have a good start to 2023 um, next video will be on Monday I'm not making any video tomorrow um, having a day off of video making tomorrow and if you like this video give me a like and subscribe and if you want to support me your links are up there and i will see you in 2023